Welcome to Central Moments again today. Uh, I love a good night's sleep and I love a nice day when the sun's out. Um, this is where Paul's going to take us in terms of a metaphor for the Christian life as we continue through 1 Thessalonians. We're in chapter 5 and verse 5. You are all children of the light and children of the day. We do not belong to the night or to the darkness. We do not belong to the night. We do not belong to the darkness. That's his way of saying we don't belong to the kingdom of Satan. He has delivered us from the dom dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his dear son or, or even elsewhere. That metaphor is used. He's brought us into the light, out of darkness, into the light. Now, it could be you work night shift, so this metaphor doesn't apply to you, but most of us live by the day and sleep by night. And, and his, his danger is, here's where Paul's going to go. He said the danger here is that if you spend too much time in the kingdom of darkness, you're going to become spiritually drowsy and spiritually sleepy. And we better not be asleep and miss the opportunities that God's giving us. And, as he's been saying, miss when Christ comes again. So, he'll go on in the next verse, verse 6. So then, let us not be like others who are asleep. They're spiritually asleep. But let us be awake and sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night. And those who get drunk, get drunk at night. So, so these, these associations with the nighttime hours, that's where you get drunk. You don't do that in the middle of the day. It's, it's, it's the nighttime parties. It's, you get drunk at night. You're drowsy. You sleep at night. You're unaware at night. This is what spiritual darkness will do to you spiritually. But, verse 8, since we belong to the day, let us be sober. And let's put on faith and love as a breastplate and the hope of salvation as a helmet. Uh, Paul kind of does that same thing in Ephesians 6, the armor of God. And he gets that idea of this salvation as a helmet all the way out of the prophet Isaiah. There's always Old Testament roots to these things. And, and, and he's, he's just saying, uh, although it's kind of soldier imagery now, he said we, we need to be sober, we need to be alert, we need to be ready to fight the spiritual battle, we can't be drowsy, we can't be sleeping. Since we belong to the day, we, we do put on faith and, uh, and hope as a helmet and love as a breastplate. For our God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us so that whether we are awake or asleep, and here asleep would be, be dead, we may live together with him. So Paul just says, this is a good point, just to preach the gospel again. That, that this is about light and darkness. This is about being alive spiritually or dead spiritually. And, and, and we, we, we have s salvation as that helmet upon us, um, reminding us that he died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we may live together with him. This is the destiny that we have. And so in the, li in the life we do live right now, we, we, we don't go the direction of darkness. We don't want to fall asleep. Now, he really unpacks this in another letter to the Ephesian church, Ephesians 5, verse 14. This is why it is said, wake up, sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. So be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil, the days are dark, and, and there's opportunities. We, we need to be wise to the opportunities. Therefore, encourage, and, and so therefore we, we encourage each other and we encourage our hearts to, to be alert to the opportunities that God has given us right now. Why? Because the days are evil. Father, we pray that you'll help us not to be asleep. Help us not to be drowsy, asleep, intoxicated with the things of this world when we ought to be spiritually alive to you. My God, forgive us for, for wandering into darkness sometimes. Uh, maybe some of us are living in darkness and we, we, we need to renounce it and repent and receive the truth of the gospel today. That you... You died for us, Lord, so that we could live together with you. And you've appointed us to receive salvation. Help us to live in the light of what you've appointed us for. We thank you for this. 
We receive your grace, your life, and we pray you'll keep us awake and alert and making the most of every opportunity. In Jesus' name, amen.